Alright guys, welcome to my new video tutorial. Uh, in this video I'm going to create a virtual machine to test the new uh, Yosemite beta uh, version. Uh, that is the coming uh, new macOS version that will be released uh, in fall. And I downloaded the beta yesterday after two days of attempts uh, if you are signed up for the beta program uh, you should have received an email from apple containing a link uh, where you can download the beta so i will give for granted here that you already done this uh, I tried to create a virtual machine with Perl's desktop, but it won't boot up uh, after upgrading to Yosemite. Mm. So I read that VMware Fusion was fine, so we're gonna test it here. Uh, I installed the trial version of VMware Fusion and I'm going to create a new virtual machine. Click it here. Now, all right. Unlike what I read online, uh, creating a new virtual machine using the beta right away won't work. So what we're going to do is creating a virtual machine uh, with macOS Mavericks installer, and then we're going to try to upgrade it to the latest beta. Alright, so I recovered uh, the Mavericks installer from one of my backup disks and now I'm ready to go. So let's create a new virtual machine using Mavericks installer. That's something that also Perl's desktop requires to you when you create a macOS virtual machine inside a physical macOS system. So it's gonna take a while. Alright, so let's start Mavericks uh, virtual installation here. Let's use English, of course. And let's choose install OS X. Oh man. Alright. Of course, I'm going to choose this, which is a virtual CD. This is the installer, so <clears throat> I should have ejected it, but I forgot. But no biggie. All right, so it's going to take just about a minute. So I'm going to about a minute. So I'm going to pass the video for a while. Okay, the installation is about to be completed and is restarting in a few, so we're almost good to go. It was a little more than one second, uh, as I already read a line in the meantime, but now it's going to get started, finally. So. We're about to boot our virtual machine. 
so we're gonna see you guys in a few. Okay. All right, so we're ready to go, and we can start installing our new virtual machine. I'm gonna choose Italian layout as for my keyboard because that's what I use. I don't need to transfer any information here, and I don't need to sign here because I don't need to synchronize it. So. Of course, if you want to test the functionality with your iPhone and iPad uh, and stuff like that, you should do that. I don't have neither of them, so. Alright, so let's continue with the installing procedure alright so you can move on I'm not interested in registering my iMac here because I have already done it before so I skip this part alright this will require a while because it's setting up my account Our virtual machine is ready and we can try installing our beta here so we're ready to go. Okay, this is the crucial time. The beta has been installed and now it's about to boot. Now I'm really eager to see what it looks like and I hope you are too. Alright, so after a little while, when I was shown only a completely black screen, now it's completed the installation. I'm uh, really eager to see what it's going to do now. Alright guys, we're finally done. Uh, now we only need to sign. I don't want to sign with my Apple ID because it's no use for this and there you go now it's gonna set up our account I don't know what it is honestly I don't give a damn about it so Wow, look at that, really fast. Alrighty guys, uh, that's pretty much about it for today. Uh, I was planning on reviewing the Yosemite beta uh, along with uh, an installation guide, but I realized it would take too long for you to see, and I don't want to keep you too long, so... I will uh, review the new beta in the next video that I'm already realizing at the moment.